Hey, this is Sean Kelly. I'm the sales manager over at Trimetrics. We're going to do a quick video on how to run a test with the RA360 audiometer. So the RA360 is normally a standalone audiometer. So this is a, a tabletop device that, that the test is run from the audiometer. You don't need a computer to run it. We have a screen grab utility, so you are able to see what we see on the screen of the audiometer. So if you look up top, we have daily check, test, storage, and setup. So I'm going to go to test. So there's a corresponding button right under the screen. So under test, there's a button. So when we go in test, we have subject ID. So this is optional. We'll put one in here. So we'll say 5596 and then enter. All right. So now we have our ID in and we're ready to run a test if we want. So the, the main things to look at here, so examiner, so we only have one programmed in here. But if there's multiple, you can select the examiner here. Language, so the RA360 will do voice prompts, same as the RA660 audiometer. Uh, you'll set the default language, which is just the, the default for, for any test run, but you can change the, the language for an individual test. So the default is set to English right now, but let's say we have somebody who's just a native Spanish speaker. So we want this one to run in Spanish. So we can go to Spanish, and now the test instruction and the test correction that it gives this individual over the headset is going to be in Spanish. So that's ready. So there's a button on the side. There's new test or run test. You can hit either one. So we're going to go to run test. Now, if you look in the top right, it says playing voice prompt. So it's coming over the headset saying you're about to take a hearing test. Press release the hand switch. And then in the top left, when the test starts, you'll have stimulus and response. So you can see the lights come on when a tone is presented and when we respond to it. So you see, so we had two ascending, two out of three ascending, so that's how we came to 65. So you can see we fast forward a little bit, try and get through this a little quicker. So we're, we're back to the automatic test running. So I'm going to go pause. So there's a button on the bottom left that says pause. And as soon as we hit pause, now we're in manual mode. So we have uh, an up, down, left, right pad. So left and right are the hertz, the frequency. And then up, down is the level. So it's up 5, down 10. And then there's a button in the middle, tone. So you can see we just presented a tone. And there's the response. So we can say that's a good value. And we'll say same thing. We'll present tone at 80. So you heard it. So we'll go down. Now we're at 70. All right. And then we'll go back, hit run. So it says playing voice prompts in the top right because the test is done. So as soon as we finish that test in manual mode, the, the test was completed. All the frequencies were filled out. So you can see on here, so we have 250, 750, and 1500 on right now. Those can absolutely be turned off. So for a normal test, you could turn off 250, 750, 1500, and then 8K as well. So it's just an option in the audiometer. So there's a save button. So as soon as we hit save, and then you see how in the top right it changed to done. So that is the basics of a test on the RA360 audiometer. Thanks.